This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection, and service. Hello everyone, this is Dimitri with Hardware Canucks and the new flagship GPU from NVIDIA, the GTX 980 Ti, has just hit the market. It's an exciting direction for enthusiast gamers who want the best performance, especially since the 980 Ti is basically neck to neck with the Titan X, but released at $649, so the value proposition is there compared to the $1000 Titan X. The 980 Ti is targeted for 4K gaming, DirectX 12 uh, compatibility and a full stack of features that rolls out uh, with this new GPU within the sphere of Gameworks VR that we'll cover in the future video. Specifications of the 980 Ti seem very promising for gaming with 2816 CUDA cores, 1000MHz base clock and 1075MHz boost, 6GB of VRAM on a 384-bit memory bus, so it's just slightly below the the Titan X in the CUDA core count with half the RAM. And I'm also really excited to see the prospects of this new GPU for Adobe applications, so make sure to subscribe as we will be doing uh, many tests across uh, multiple GPUs to compare. So now let's do a quick physical tour. All right, well, another deja vu moment, really. Uh, this reference GPU does not look any different with the TI added beside the model number at the front, illuminated GeForce logo at the top of the card, and no backplate for this one. The I.O. is no different either. Triple DisplayPort 1.2 output for triple 4K no problem, single HDMI and dual link DVI. Power connections include a 1.8 and 1.6 pin with 250 watt TDP in total, so uh, about a 600 watt power supply is recommended. And so first, let's do 1440p benchmarks. As expected, the 980 Ti is just a few frames below the Titan X on average on all of our benchmarks. They are practically neck to neck and this certainly feels like a new flagship GPU simply based on the price. You are looking at around 36% better performance across the board compared to the 980 and it will be very interesting to see what will happen with the Titan X. And in fact, Jensen himself was asked this question recently and this was his response. First of all, first of all, our job is to bring value to the market. And we see an opportunity for 4K gaming. The most important job for our next flagship gaming product, that's not what Titan is. Titan is not our gaming product. Titan X is really our enthusiast product. Our, our 980 Ti's mission in life is singular. It must be able to deliver 4K gaming. If it cannot deliver 4K gaming, zero. It, no, it did nothing. So we wanted to deliver 4K gaming, number one. Number two, just absolutely knock VR out of the park. Those are some of the things that we wanted to do with 980 Ti. And so the price was not my most important objective. I wanted to make it affordable for flagship the consistent price of a flagship GeForce, <coughs> which is $650, and it has to be able to be the world's first out of the shoot, completely 4K gaming experience. <coughs> now, Titan X has, has um, some special properties. First of all, it has 12 gigabytes of memory, which is really important for people who wants to do video editing in 4K. Could you imagine doing After Effects in 4K, Premiere in 4K? If you wanted to do deep learning, it is, it is the perfect development platform for students and researchers all over the world for deep learning. And so you need a lot of them. If you were a developer making a 4K game, and developers, before you can enjoy the, the game in 4K, they have to develop the game in 4K, which means they need a lot of, a lot of memory we have created the perfect platform for them. And so our, our enthusiast GPUs are, serve many, many needs. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and as he said, it must drive 4K games, otherwise zero. <laughs> 
so let's take a look at that as well. As expected, the 980 Ti is uh, quite capable at this resolution, playing the latest uh, titles at the highest settings without hiccups, so having only half the memory of the Titan X should not worry anybody as the numbers speak great frames and imagine tuning some of those settings down to get solid 60 FPS at 4K no problem. And the card was staying well within the thermal envelope at 82 degrees Celsius during load as expected for a reference GPU. So putting this thing underwater or some cooler from one of their board partners should see the enthusiast community spark with excitement for extra headroom for overclocking. And so right now Nvidia has made yet another confident statement with the Maxwell architecture. If you want the best gaming card in the market right now, the 980 Ti is it, scoring about 2% below the Titan X while offering a much better value for those 4K needs. So the 980 Ti is a damn good card. Make sure to subscribe as we have an overview of all that Nvidia has just introduced coming very soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.